Yes, that's what it's all about. Going out, finding history and sharing history in a very special way. History Hunter here and an eagle eyes. <laughs> we are definitely out here today to share great history with you. So join us and let's go out and do that right now. This might not look like too much, but it's actually a heavily fortified small peninsula on the Atlantic Wall fortification line. And that is the fortification line running from the bottom of France to the top of Scandinavia. With huge variations in uh, setups and uh, dimensions. And this thing here is pretty potent and it had one purpose to protect the waterways out there. And the Germans said, wow, we need to protect this area seriously. So you're going to see that there's quite a lot of details here, even though it's just a very tiny spot on the Atlantic Wall map. First impression is actually not too much, but you can already see some mounds. You can see some concrete, but I can promise you this place has got a lot of details. And we're going to start on the, the upper part and then work ourselves way down to the lower part. Very often you would ask yourself, why here? Well, the Germans were very particular, particular in their arrangements of the smaller uh, coastal artilleries and the flak positions. And there was a special reason for that. That is, they are put in a system and the system is there. You just have to kind of learn from it and then you can understand why they did what they did and where they did it. So basically this path that we're walking down here is not a coincidence. It's something that the Germans created to transport their troops up and down the mountainsides. And uh, for what? Well, I think you see the different details when we come further down here. This is basically what it was all about, to protect the waterways out there. And to do that, you need positions. You need anti-aircraft guns, you need uh, Panzerabwehrkanon, that means uh, guns that could fire out towards vessels. You need machine gun position, trenches, barracks, and it's all up there and that's where we're going. You know the fascination of the Atlantic Wall is just that, that it has so many different features and the different features makes each and every position so unique and it could be just <laughs> absolutely tiny small details like that. Food, that's food. That is probably to hold the um, camouflage canvas in place. So it could be small details like that. And then details that we're gonna see on the top here now. This place is unique by being very, very far away from people. At least regular people. What is that? That's a huge metal tube implanted. And you see where Eli's foot is? You can see the first little clue of uh, the different kind of defensive measures. And I'm gonna show you right here. That is one of the barbed wire fence poles still in the ground there. But the very first gun position is just about around the corner. So we have to go a bit further up here and then we'll see that. You guys want to show that. What is it for? Barbed wire, barbed wire, and this is the cables that hold or held the barbed wire spirals. So, still here. And after the war, there was a cleanup. Let me show you here. This whole, see here, everything there, all of that is barbed wire. It's just laying in the ground, and nobody's going to remove that. It's going to be here until it's completely gone. So now we're starting to see a little bit more of what's going on here. Huge trench system. There's a pit there, most likely a munition storage with wooden planks on top or camouflage canvas on top. You can see the trench runs down here. There's a little feature under us here, I guess. And you can see the uh, trench continues up to the position where Eagle Eye is. And that is right there. And for the looks of it, I think it's a, it's not a flak position. I think it's actually a uh, 
maybe an MG position or could be a more heavy duty machine cannon or gun. Yeah, you can see this edge here, but there's also pockets there, munition pockets. Okay. Most definitely a defensive position, which also overlooks the ocean over there. So you can see it's all the way out. It's all the way out on the edge here, cliff edge. And that is basically a very efficient way to keep track of what's going on out there at sea and uh, if you have a look here i'm going to go down into that trench because i really see i think there's actually a bunker right there uh, or an entrance or something so yeah we, w i think uh i'm not too sure yeah, there you can go down the yeah we will go down in the trench okay uh, so there. this is the experience a german soldier would have when he came down this mm. trench system today there's a lot of thorns so you have to be careful, they will rip your skin off and uh, oh crack, ah shit, ah that hurt, see what I mean, these here, they will stick to you and make your day miserable, but I will do my very best, we do the research, we travel, and we go through the hardships to show you everything. Hope you appreciate that. So give us a like, a thumbs up, and a comment, and you can help us to reach more people. Okay, ow. It is basically just a tiny little, either shelter or munition storage, I would say both. So they could run in here, grab more munition. And at the same time, if there was an air raid, they probably will hunker down there. Cool. So. You see here, these are still here, very often to have some sort of camouflage canopy above. And uh, right here is that trench system, but that is not going to be able, we're nope. not going to be able to go through there. Forget that. So we're going to go to the top and you can see it from the top there. But over here is basically the uh, rubble pit of there used to be a very special kind of hut here. You, you can't see it now, but it's, the walls has fallen down into it. Often it'd just be like a wall of rocks and then they laid huge uh, uh, wooden planks on top, uh, soil, and then some camouflage canvas on top. Shelter or munition storage as well. But let's go to, top, do, to the top and see the, the trench system. So this is the trench system that they will transport themselves back and forth in. And why? Well, you're gonna see that because it enters here. And if you take very good, if you look there, there's an entrance opening to what could be a mortar bunker. But how do we get, okay, I get it. We go into the trenches here, and then we can actually guide ourselves down there because there's something there, something there, something there. Yeah, cool. We're very proud to be able to present and show you details of specifically this thing here, Atlantic Wall, that not too many visit. And uh, it's an honor and privilege to convey this so you can learn from it and uh, experience it. Right now we're walking in. Holy cow, there's a very, very sad, steep set of stairs here. Going down, be careful. Yeah, it's very steep. So, you can see these rocks has actually fallen down, oh. down the hillside here. But you can see there's a retaining wall there, and then suddenly, boom. I'm guessing this could be a mortar position, actually. Looks very much like the others that we've seen on this trip, on other positions. I think it could be a mortar position. Okay, let's see if the... Uh, camera can convey it. I really do think that we are seeing one munition chamber there, small munition chamber here. And I do think that was, could it have been a searchlight? Well, it could. It looks more like a mortar attachment here on these bolts. And you can see they had perfect view 
of the uh, land and ocean over there. And you can see there is a little pocket there do behind Eagle Eyes. And there's the a pocket there. there. Let me see. I think you can push the yeah, you can, out yeah, there. maybe you can push something out through there. That's correct. Like so, right let me see. Show it like that. You can see. This is how it looks from this side. So this is a form formidable uh, near defense position, but you can also attack the enemy out there. And you can see it's heavy duty reinforced concrete with rebars. bars. And then when you come to the outside, they utilized the most available kind of commodity, rocks and concrete. And with so many workers available to do the jobs often, well, you could do almost anything you wanted. So there's a huge cutout in the mountain here. Very often they could put barracas in here and then it would look maybe something like this. You see the stone walls would protect the barracas, but I don't think they did that here. But is there an opening in there? I don't know. I'll have to go around and check it from the other side. This place would typically be controlled by 30, 40 guys. Something like that, not more. And they would sleep and eat and live here. That is a huge cutter. I wonder what they use or plan on doing here. That's very deep, it's like four meters down there. And you can see a trench system here. And then I'm gonna show you the mortar position from above. And these are very easy to see from, uh, from the earth or Google Earth if you want to. And it looks something like this. So they are there, even today. So we have the first uh, the aircraft gun, maybe a munition, um, MG light uh, machine gun, cannon position there. We have trenches, we have a couple of dugouts, heavy duty dugouts, and that thing there. What a great place. Let's see if we can find more. Right here, there are two different features. Can you see it? It's actually a bunker. But also, I'm going to show this to you here. Looks like a pretty primitive, but very, very effective position for a guy. See that? So just cast it out into the mountainside. And a little entrance area would be a powerful place. Because there's like this ravine valley here. And I guess that's what I wanted to do to protect whoever came or protect and be able to take out whoever came down this ravine here. But as I said, there's also this bunker. And it looks pretty cool. And uh, all of these are built in the same manner. Concrete and rocks, basically that's it. Eagle Eyes, you can see here there's a bunker. Eagle Eyes, he's just spotted an eagle actually, so that's pretty interesting. What is going on here? Like two separate small rooms. I'm guessing this is actually just a storage. Let me see if I get in here. I do have a flashlight, but I think it will show here. It's just this tiny little wall in between. Now I can go inside, turn around. That's nothing else than, I would say, munition storage. We can also, of course, use this as a shelter. The special feature on the roof there. It's just two rooms actually, so uh, two, two room with a dividing wall. I haven't got a clue, I've never seen that before actually. You could, uh, he wanted to demonstrate and he says, this could probably be the scene with a German soldier there. He would have hand grenades laying around and belts and uh, munition boxes, maybe even a Panzerfaust, who knows. 
but that's basically a fighting position for one of the German soldiers at this fantastic coastal artillery fortress. It's a fantastic detailed little place. Absolutely, see here? And another little fighting position and that covers the whole lower part of the peninsula. And you see it's just a tiny little thing, but for the Germans, this was strategically very important because they would know that if they were overtaken, the Allies would come up the hill here, but they might not even see this thing here because it's protected by nature on this side and you can't see this. And then you can pop up with a machine gun and boop, 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 boop. How ingenious. So on this side, you might say, there's nothing here. Wrong. All the way down there where the water is, there's actually another position. And we can see a trench system. So we are not going to leave that untouched. We are going down there. <laughs> I didn't even get that oh, far. Geez. There is another one. And Eagle Eyes has a new expression. He says, holy sheep for the sheep in the fields. Holy, holy sheep. sheep. <laughs> that is most likely the second mortar position. It actually looks like that. I don't see how that could be a uh, anti-aircraft gun how position. Oh, and you can see. There the trench system leading into it. Coming. Yeah, I, I, I do see, let me see. Yeah, be careful here. Yeah, there's the entrance to the second. And there will be these two munition storages here. And another huge dugout there. Be very careful here, you guys. Oh, these freaking thorns. They are really ripping you apart, to be honest. Ow, it did again Ow, on my jacket. Let's see, there are stairs coming in here on this side and a huge, huge something dug out and then boom, leads into that one and boom. It's an amazing place this, holy sheep. <laughs> Eagle Eye says, this is the way down to the uh, lower gun position, I think he's right. Look at that, they created these stairs going down into the terrain and that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to travel down the same stairs, going back in time and imagining that we are that German soldier running down to its position to defend themselves. It's a huge drop between some of the steps. And then you are down at the... Uh, oh, there's this embankment here where there are no steps, just they raised up the, the level of the ground and then they can travel further down here. So I think this is the last position on the complex here. And uh, it's let's Holy check it out. Small. Oh, it's what we call a Ringstand. Mm -hmm. a Ringstand is a position where you can have different kinds of weapons, but mainly machine guns, MG42, MG34, Tobro, um, Panzerfaust rifles and could easily have quite a few men here and you can see on the outside it's basically just concrete smoothing out so it will resemblance the look of the mountain itself. Do you see that? There is a couple of small bits of concrete. I wonder what that is. We were looking for a uh, cave here but uh, we can't find a cave so I'm not sure where, where that is. Well, this was quite an adventure. I think this place surprised us totally. We didn't even know it existed. Nevertheless, it was such a great experience. Thank you for, for coming along. And to all our Patreon PayPal supporters, you are actually the guys and girls who makes this come true. So highly appreciate all the kind support you're giving us. Thank you for your kind support. Oh, thank you for your kind support, Eagle Eye says. Very kind of you, very kind of you. All right, we are off to the next one. Everybody, subscribe, hit the notification bell, you know, let the notification come through. And if you comment, it helps us out tremendously. Stay safe and uh, see you later. Hope you enjoyed this.